court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. My niggas, Phoenix, no rights is back. Hell yes, my nigga. I'm looking better than there if I say so myself. Oh, shit. Ace Attorney, let's get this shit. The prosecution. This nigga is back on oh, my edge dick. Edge, get your bum ass out of here, fake ass Itachi Uchiha. God damn, uh, your honor. I'm tired of facing this bum ass nigga. I hate edge dick. I hate edge dick. The defense is ready, your honor. Woo! Where's my tie at? Where's my tie at? Hold up, bro. I need this shit, my nigga. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me put my sunglasses on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. 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 Hold up, hold up, Let's go! We are now ready! Ties never look like this! Ties never look like this! Oh my fucking god, man, this bald ass bitch! The prosecution will show the court that 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in the studio, one of Global Studios. Nigga, that never fucking happened, bro! Stop lying, bitch ass nigga! Edgeworth will do anything to convince niggas he's telling the fucking truth! Fuck this bum ass nigga! It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime! Nigga, nobody says heinous! Nobody says heinous! The evidence presented during the class trial. Class trial? <laughs> this is not Don but bitch ass nigga! We'll all point to this fact! Hmm, I see, I see. Very well. I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call his first witness to the stand. It may be somebody mad fucking fire, my nigga. Who the fuck is the first witness? I call a most familiar face. Detective Cumshoe! Detective, we don't need your service today, my nigga. It's not Law and Order SVU, bitch. Oh my god, that nigga looks so fucking clumsy, bro. If I call a defendant on the stand, that nigga look like this? Like, nigga, get your bum ass out of here, bro. God damn it. Detective, you would briefly describe the case to the court. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll explain with the guide map here. Goofy ass nigga, doofy ass nigga, dunce ass nigga. To understand this court case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, say. This here is the employee area. The actors did a run through of their action scenes during the morning here. I right, best say less. Now I gotta actually tee up, my niggas. I gotta eventually jump in and say, no, that's fucking wrong, like Makoto and them. Here we fucking go, nigga. This is the main gate to the studios. Nigga, she's the one that did it! Jackhammer, Will Powers, and this old bitch were the only niggas there, bro. If y'all niggas remember, that suit did not fit the nigga inside that shit, bro. The fucking pants were on the fucking ground sweeping that shit in an oversized tank, my nigga. Like, that shit was way too big. That had to be somebody way shorter than Will Powers himself, my nigga. Nobody else that was there was shorter than the nigga. So the old bitch has to be there. Past security station, there's a gate. Say, past that to the studios. All right, say less. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Jack Hammer, no! They used to call me Jack Hammer back in the day, my nigga. When I get inside this position and start going crazy and that shit, yes, sir! Hell yes, Jack Hammer, Jack Hammer, yeah, that's me! Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people there Jack Hammer, Will Powers, and the old bitch. The old bitch. Here we go, my nigga. Fake ass Street Fighter character, Jack Hammer himself, and the old. What if she did that shit? The suit was way too big for the nigga inside the suit. Holy shit. If she actually did it, my nigga, it could be GG's for her entire life. She going straight to juvie and into prison. All the production staff in the employee area until noon. Is girl prison really that bad though, my nigga? You got nothing but good ass food. Prison guards willing to fuck you at any time, my nigga. And nothing but horny ass women trying to eat your pussy. Like, nigga, no way it's that bad. No way it's that bad. I've seen Orange the New Black, my nigga. They be in Nirvana inside that shit. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. That has to be the young bitch, my nigga. Not Will Powers. Hell no. And after lunch, the victim Jack Cameron went on to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. They going crazy with the explanation. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. God damn! How do you impel a nigga that much, my nigga? That big ass hole inside his chest, bro. God damn! The time of the death was 2.30. I think like he got special beam cannon, bitch. Like, no fucking way. Special beam cannon, monkey. Like, no way. Uh, the samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. Woo! That's the case in brief. 
Anyone like to hear that again? No, nigga. Should I listen to the whole thing again? My nigga, absolutely fucking not. Skip that bullshit. Phoenix, no rights. Let's get this shit. I think I can probably remember that. Y'all niggas coming with the craziest name, my nigga, bro. Ape Attorney, Phoenix, no right. Like, what the fuck is next, bro? No damn way. So the murder weapon was a spear. How... African these spear chuckers. Oh my god Samurai spear added to the court record your honor this case is quite simple if you ask one question and that question is What did the security lady at the guard station see it don't fucking matter, but she saw somebody inside of a suit She didn't see will powers himself. She never saw that shit, bro And she mad old and mad senile crazy bitch understood Let's call the security guard officer to stand. No, nigga, she's crazy. Don't do that bullshit. I'm pressing the fuck out of you. I'm pressing the fuck out of you. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Will the witness declare her name, please? If her name is Old Bag. Huh? No way! She's doing the sexy girl shit too? What? My, aren't you a handsome fellow? Who are you talking about me? Are you talking about me? Thank you. I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. She's talking to Edgeworth? Uh, uh, your name, please. And then got hard as a bitch. Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. No, nigga, what is your name? We're inside a courtroom right now. Your name, please! Seems Edgeworth is a bit of trouble getting his witness to say their names. Her name is Wendy Oldbag? Ain't no fucking way, my nigga. What if my name was like Apollo Black or some shit? Like, no goddamn way, bro. So just call me Grandma. Even when I was young, the old bag still see the other children would make fun of Believe it? You're not Naruto. You're not Naruto. You call me an old bag as well. I cried and cried. Objection! Shut your dumb ass up right the fuck now. I object to the witness talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony, please? Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder. Am I correct in saying that? Yes, I was. Uh, and to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you, correct? You know your stuff, dearie. Oh, shit. Uh, she flirting with the judge. She want the judge dick. She want the judge dick. Oh, shit. The judge genitalia. You may begin with your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bitch. All right, here we go, my nigga. I'm pressing everything. I don't give a flying fuck. Witnesses account. Woo! On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through there since this morning. I will have had some errands to run that morning. Nigga, no you did it. You killed the nigga. Anyway, it was 1 p.m. I'm gonna press her on that immediately. Where the fuck were you at? Why were you leaving your guard station? That is your only job, bitch. You old oak tree looking fuck. Anyway, it was 1 p.m. I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from that until 5 o'clock. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked by right at 2 p.m. It was Powers. That man right there and he was heading towards the studio. Nah, fuck that shit. Phoenix, no rights. Are you ready? You saw the defendant then. Hmm, very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. No Rights? It's right, sir. You don't call me that bullshit. Yes, your honor. Here we go! Tee the fuck up, my niggas. I gotta use this shit. Nigga Only a few minutes, only a few minutes, though. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station. No, that's wrong! Hold it! So up until that time, anyone who wanted to go into the studio, correct? Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gate, no. But the main gate was locked, dear, eh? You need an employee car key to get in. Oh my fucking god, this old bitch. Right, the car key that I have. So what she's saying is no one who wasn't supposed to be there could get in. Woo! Was there anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Why is he pressing her too? Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through there since this morning. Hold it! Right the fuck there! A run through? You were getting ran through, you old bitch? That thing still get wet like that? Oh shit, hell no, she got nothing but dust, my nigga. Water dust. Yaka. Oh, they were working out a scene between the steel samurai and the evil magistrate. Uh, of course, of course. They got the bases figured out by noon and were used the afternoon for practice. Rehearsal was supposed to start at 5 p.m. Uh, that's why poor old Hammer went to the studio one in the afternoon. So Powers was in his dressing room sleeping when he was supposed to be practicing. Talk about a laid-back hero. If there was a run-through in the morning, why did you only get there afternoon? 
Here we go. I won't had some errands to run that morning. Hold it! Where the fuck were you at? Where the fuck were you at? What kind of errands? You're not SpongeBob, bitch. Are you finished with those errands now? Like, come on! Presser, presser. Oh well, you know. No, I don't know. No, I don't know. Old bitches only do their job and play bingo. Where the fuck were you at? Answer the goddamn question. What was she doing? Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers observing, you know? Observing? We're supposed to be at the guard station? Ah, whippersnapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job, I got horny! Even old people have needs to rub my own pussy! Oh my god! Stop that shit! I'm not sure boss would want to see it in that way. Anyway, I wanted to watch Hammer's run-throughs, always! Never missed one in all my years! Uh, wow, I want to see a still Samurai run-through too. You could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Don't talk to her, don't talk to her! Anyway, it was 1 p.m. when I got back to the guard station. HOLD IT! Press her again. Did you see the victim then? Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us, what happened next? Here we go, my nigga. I was the main gate from then until 5 p.m. And then what? HOLD IT! Let's go, let's go. So you're watching there the whole time? No breaks, not even a second? Of course, uh, I am professional, you know. Or are you criticizing how I do my job, whippersnapper? She wanna say something else right there. You know she does. She know you does, my nigga. Like, god damn. No, it's just after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday. I can watch the game and eat donuts at the same time! Uh, whippersnapper! Oh my... Snipper whopper! She trying to fucking fuse the words together, my nigga. She don't call me a nig a nig snapper one of these days, my nigga. A nig whipper, a nig whipper. Like no way, uh, old windbag is losing, Nick. Why don't you raise an objection? So the witness was on duty through the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Now the murder happened at 2:30 p.m. Right? Hold it! How do you know that? Woo! Come on! Hell yes! Hell yes! Oh, 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 I had my ways, that overdressing young detective told me. No way he did, no way he did. I fed him some donuts and he ate my pushy and we talked and talked and talked all night. You an old ass freak, you an old ass freak. Oh, hell nah. If you ask me, the detective isn't cut out for his job. Come shoe, press her right now, press her right now. Poor detective come shoe, getting ratted out by the security guard. <laughs> That's crazy. Interested in me because a certain man walked by at 2 p.m. Hold it! Right here. 2 p.m. You're sure? Sure as spit. What do these old people phrases even fucking mean, my nigga? What the hell does that mean? Sure as spit? Oh my god. Well, who was the man? Really? You should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something like that big white dick. You don't know he has a big white dick. You don't know he has a big white dick. Now, now, don't get your skivvies. <laughs> what is a skivvy? That sounds like an actual story, my nigga. You skivvy ass nigga. You skivvy ass nigga. Fuck you, skivvy. Like, nigga, oh my god. Uh, I'll tell you what was. Uh, it was Powers. That man right there, he was headed towards the studio. Hold it! How do you know it was him? So you saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said. Got wax in your ear, shunne. Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, it's time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again. It was him. It was him. It was him. It was Powers. That man right there. He was heading towards the studio. What do I have to actually present? What do I have to actually present? Car key Powers. It wasn't Powers. It was a nigga inside of a suit. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Present that shit right here. Objection. Let me get this straight, you old bag. Uh, Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers. Am I correct in saying that? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Uh, just a moment, Mr. Wright. Uh, let me see that photo. Yes, nigga, we on your ass. The nigga's not even tall enough to fit in the goddamn suit, nigga. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? What is this exactly? None other than the steel semi defender of Neo Old Tokyo, bitch. Miss Old Bag. Answer this for me. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Yes or no? Of course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? 
Did your mom teach you any since you old bitch? You can't even see the nigga's face inside that mask! And you look at Playlist Lee Street that's powers, correct? Even Edgeworth is like, nigga, no! They can't! Uh, you fucked up everything! No! Um, well, I mean, so I wonder... True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the skilled samurai, but that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is inside the skilled samurai. Come on, Wayna! Ah, my old pushy again! God damn, I think I wanna fuck an old bitch so bad. I know this shit feel amazing. I know it. I know that I wasn't born yesterday, bitch. You were born in 1926. Shut your dumb ass up. You're in the Great Depression. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss uh, Witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag apparently, cause they're the same age. They're both pushing 90. However, you do not have proof of that person in this photo as Mr. Will Powers, do you? Huh, nosy old man. She liked that nigga a little bit. She liked that nigga a little bit. Of course I have proof. She had proof this whole time? What? Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Even Edgeworth is surprised. The prosecution would like to ask the old, uh, the witness. Please, make known your information in this possession ahead of time. How was I told everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. What? Wow, old windbag is left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. <laughs> Why do they keep calling her an old ass bitch, my nigga? No way. I mean, she is old for sure, my nigga. But you ain't got to say it. You ain't got to say it. Let's hear about your proof then. What is the proof? Witness testimony. Tee the fuck up, Poyo. Let's get this shit. Phoenix, no rights. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of his props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. Now you can see he's dragging his leg, Shay. Clear as day. That just means it was somebody that didn't fit that raggedy-ass, big-ass suit. That's how I knew his powers. Happy? It doesn't even fit the nigga. Um, <laughs> it doesn't fit his legs, my nigga. Hmm, so he sprained his ankle? Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she fucking squeals, that old-ass bastard. Come on, Wina. Nigga gone. Let's get this shit. The man in the photo. Here we fucking go. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. Hold it! You called yourself beautiful ugly, you ugly bitch! Whipper snapper! Nick Whipper! Whoa! Whoa! He... I haven't even said anything yet. I'll have you know, I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs. Everything I've said is on the straight and narrow, the up and up. You today always whining about each other pointing that. It's enough to make an old woman cry! Mr. Wright, please for all sakes try not to upset the witness. She's upset herself, my nigga. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I think Edgeworth has met his match. Nigga, it's not me. <laughs> it's not me at all. That morning during the run-through, the action sequence... Hold it! Stop it right there. Who was present at the run-through? Well, let's see. There was Powers. He's the still samurai. Then poor old Hammer, the evil magistrate. And me. And the young bitch. And the young bitch. And what exactly were you doing? Observing, just uh, observing. She did this shit, bro. She did this shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't even see the run through them. Interesting. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. I saw powers trip and fall. Hold it! Trip and fall? Yeah, and the thing. She's supposed to be the steel samurai. What a laugh! So Power sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurts. Your spit has no healing priorities, my nigga. It's not a fucking super potion. What are you talking about, bitch? What? She think her shit is like an elixir or some shit. No way. Let's just skip over that part, shall we? So if I happen to hurt my dick... You would kiss it for me? God damn, I need that old woman spit on my shit. Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? 
She was cleaning up bab shots, I think. She didn't know about the power's ankle. Hmm. She may continue testimony. Wait, is that important? Is that important? He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Hold it! Right the fuck there. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. His samurai spear, the murder weapon? He broke it? Then how the fuck was that shit used to kill somebody then? Luckily, I was there with my duff tape to fix it, Shadey. Oh my god, stop doing that fucking hand move. What that mean? Uh, this strikes me as significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Samurai spear was broken. Mended with duct tape. Woo! Apparently. Oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, 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 apparently. He sprained his ankle pretty bad. Hold it! Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. So even you know he went to go took a fucking nap, my nigga. Even you know Miles. Even you know Miles. That's the nap. Anyway, I shot him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot? Okay. I think we've heard enough here. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is... Where is this Steel Samurai costume now? We never found that shit! Uh, um... Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking though. Hmm... Anyway, that's not important. That is THE most important thing in this entire case! What?! The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes? And it's clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Will Powers. Hmm... I suppose that's right. Are you sure, your honor? Object? Object right the fuck now. Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the steel samurai. No one in this photo can we see Will Powers at all. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility as well. Thank you. Appreciate that. Hell yes. Hell yes. Allow me to introduce myself. That dope from your mind, your honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? Uh, no need to ask me twice, Shade. Oh my god, shut your dumb ass up, bro. Here we go, bro. Let's see this shit. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to the studio before was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. What? So if no one else went to the studio, it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Even the judge is on my side now. Even that nigga's like, bro, we ain't seen Will Powers at all inside that fucking suit. It don't even fit the fucking nigga. Here we go. Cross-examination. Let's get this shit. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. Hold it! How do you know that? Ah, uh, didn't I just explain? I get Donald's the young detective and then... After some rubbish about it being a secret pal, he told me everything. What? Detective Kumshu shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. Hold it! Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite shiny. Nobody's suspicious looking past by at all. Nobody's suspicious looking. Right. What evidence do I have? What evidence do I have? Time of death, 10.15 at 2.30 p.m. Pierced by the chest through a spear. Guy Matt to Global Studios, card key for employee students, grants in the entry in one studio. He's dragging one leg. The murder weapon of breaking the shaft has been mended with duct tape. What the fuck? No one else was there. Hold it! What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before 1 p.m.? Why, well, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. That means nobody could get out either! What if somebody stayed behind inside that shit? Not to mention... If they had, I would have seen them! HOLD IT! Are you sure? Nigga, don't object me, bitch ass! Nigga, don't object me, bitch ass! Nigga, that's what I'll kill your fucking ass right now! The witnesses answer the question! Anyone going to the studio had to pass by the witness! That's right, Shade. You let him have an edgy boy. Don't call him edgy boy. Don't call him edgy boy, you nasty bitch. Edgy boy? I, I, I don't even like edging. Uh, nigga, shut the fuck up. Old Windbag sure has balls. Or, well, labia. 
old windbags as a way of skipping over the important details after all. Or, for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient! Something for you to look forward to, perhaps. Hold up, hold up, hold up! The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? 2.30 p.m. pierced through the chest. Oh my god, man! But how could it have been pierced if the fucking spear was broken? How? HOLD IT! How do you know that? Uh, didn't I just explain? Alright, Ben, say less, say less. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. So it's redoing it again. That means I have to object something. I have to, I have to. But how, though? Do I use this shit? No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Time of death. Guide map. Is there another way to get there? From Studio 2? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna present this and see what the fuck happens. OBJECTION! The witness statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. Fuck! Unfortunately, I will have to penalize you. For what? For what? For what? I must be on the wrong track. If they had, I would have seen them. Open back stretch balls. Alright, how the fuck do I... What do I object right here, bro? The time of poor Emma's death was 2.30 p.m. Nothing to object right there. He's dragging one leg at 2 p.m. Fuck, man! The only person I saw go to the steel before was Will Powers. Key card. What about this? What about this? When he says some shit like that, I know for a fact he got it wrong. I know for a fact he got it wrong. God damn it, man! Holy shit! If the music don't stop, you know you got it wrong. The only person I saw go to the studio before was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. What the fuck do I do? God damn! That's not false. That's not false either. Time of death, Global Map Studios, car key. Do I, do I show the fucking photo again? There's no way I show that photo again. No one else went there. I would have seen them. There's like only five fucking sentences, bro. What do I press right here? I'm gonna try doing the, the photo again. The photo again. Tab to present. E right here. Is that right? Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Sunday. So whenever anyone passes by here, automatically takes a picture? And here I thought you didn't know your head from your hole in the ground. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? Right, anyway. It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data, am I correct? Oh, you know if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have had an opening. Just apply. No, nigga, no! That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed out words. October 15th. 2 p.m. photo Number two Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October 15th. Really, Sade? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number two bitch. Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Order, bitch ass niggas! Order, bitch ass niggas! Order, order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not only the two people went on the studio that day, but it also shows that this is photo number two. Where the fuck is photo number one? I need that shit, nigga. I need that shit right here, right here. Give it to me! Yet there's only one data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? 
answer me now! Only someone with access to cure. You deleted that? You deleted that? Ah, man, you watch your mouth, whippersnapper! The only person I saw the photo was Will Powers! No! But the only person in the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Ah, uh, well, yes, that's uh, what it would seem to mean. Uh, can the witness explain this to the court? Um, ahem. I don't understand these newfangled computer things. No, don't do that now. There's no way out of this one. There's no way out of this one. You're fucked. Hell nah. Um, edgy boy, uh, keep edging yourself. Help me, please. Uh, huh? Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Huh? Some help you are, you nig whipper. You too. Uh, what the fuck? Why everything turned black? Whipper snapper. Something the matter, Miss Old Bag? Ah, uh, that's right. I I just remembered something. They always just so happen to fucking remember some bullshit, bro. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Even he's fucking tired of her, bro. Uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose you can uh, put it that way. Oh my fucking god, bro. Order, bitch ass niggas. Order, bitch ass niggas. I see. Your testimony, please. Oh my fucking god, bro. The other person. I also saw uh, Phoenix right there. Like, nigga, no you didn't. Shut the fuck up. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos, record on the security computer, and check them. I thought any photos that are suspicious looking, you say? Come to think of it now, I remember throwing out the one photo that day. Miss Old Bitch, this is the first time I've heard of this one! Uh, well, of course, Shadi, I'm only just remember that shit! Right, anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. The judge's like, bro, please send this bitch to jail. I know she did it, I know she did it. Well, I like to say this is a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Nigga, I knew it was her, too. I knew it was her. She's so fucking guilty! Every day after I- HOLD IT! Stop it right the fuck there! Hell nah, hell nah. Another job? That's right, I check all the people that passed by the main gate that day. I look closely at every one of the photos the security guard takes. Then what was the photo you threw away then? You oak tree looking fuck, tell me! Do you back up all the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just- She's just blatantly lying to the court, Judge! Do something! Oh my god! I thought any photos are suspicious looking, you see? Hold it! What the fuck did you throw out there? What the fuck did you throw out there? How is that you to determine what isn't suspicious looking? Old bitch! Matter of fact, take the princess away! Old bitch! Oh my god! Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces for the most part! For the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag! Well, I didn't touch a special looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Hold it! What was the photo? What was the photo? Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Huh? A fanboy. This bitch saw a fanboy and Chum Chum and threw the picture away? A fanboy? Still saying my fanboy is real freaks if you ask me. Then he could have done it then! They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. Nigga from the black web, bro. They're always hanging about one day that was there. Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? Woo! Hell yes! Hell yes! I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your exact words, correct? Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. So anybody in the universe could have gotten in the Universal Studios. Are you fucking kidding me? So it wasn't locked in, nigga! Anybody can get in! The grate that has been loose for a while, it leads outside and, well, that's where they come in at. 
They coming through the fucking drain like TMNT? Like, nigga, no way! I told you they were Freakazoids! Oh, and... And... They're kids! Children! Whippersnappers! Kids! So in the photos that you erased? It was a boy! Probably second or third grade! WHAT?! Oh my god! Order! Order, bitch-ass niggas! Let me get this straight! You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg, the other was a boy. He looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh yes, well we see this type every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade? Hmm. I assume it would be hard if not impossible for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. There's only one thing in question. If the camera snaps by, anybody that walks from point A to point B, like this, wouldn't that catch them also going back from point B to point A? If so, where the fuck did that little boy go? That nigga wasn't just there whenever we, whenever we pulled up. He wasn't there. Impossible. I think it quite heavy. Right. And I said, I didn't pay him much mind. You're the security guard. That nigga's on the premises! Terminate him! Oh my god! That's why I raised the data! Um, nigga, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there, that makes him a suspect. Yeah, they're already trying to unsuspect him! It was a white boy! It was a white boy! Oh my fucking god! This court will take a five minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Please. What the fuck are we gonna do? Holy shit, bro. Mr. Powers! Yes. Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio at all, correct? I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honestly. So, who was the Steel Samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really? What? You should take care to bury your stuff like that! I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a steel samurai suit, so... Where does that leave me? It doesn't look too good for you. You're the only likely suspect right now! Nick! What are you going to do? First we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Like the old bitch, right! It'll take them so long to shoot us down, and we can get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. <laughs> don't tell him that! Don't tell him that! Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that! I'm a bitch-ass nigga! I know, I know. Bitch-ass niggas inside court. Court will now reconceive for the trial of Mr. Will. Powers. Order in this goddamn courtroom now! Mr. Edgeworth, we present the prosecution thoughts on this matter. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely, sir. The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. Not one single goddamn thing. Oh my fuck, I hate this prick. I hate this prick, my nigga. The only other person who went to the studios was a boy roughly... Where the fuck is my damn microphone at? Nigga, am I showing backwards? <laughs> No way, bro! No way! I'm the worst lawyer of all time! The other person who went to the students was a boy roughly the age of 10 years old. Nigga, then show the picture then! I want to see the little boy! Because I want to present the evidence to the court and the judge and the jury, my nigga. Shut your asses up, man! The photo we done have the hard evidence. I can't even speak now. Fuck! But there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict guilty for the defendant of Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, very well, very well. Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. Shut your dumb ass up. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Woo! Order, 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 bitch ass niggas. Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. You tried to accuse me two days ago! Oh my fucking god! You accuse someone who is obviously innocent. You will be penalized. Then penalize Edgeworth for doing the same thing to me! 
Right, uh, great. As if the stakes weren't high enough, nigga, I'm saving immediately. I'm saving immediately. If I fuck this up, the entire case is done, my nigga. Save right there. Y'all niggas told me I gotta save every, like, 25 minutes. Say the fuck less, bro. Uh, here we go. So, who is this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? I want to say the security lady, but... I think it might be the assistant girl. It was a security lady! Wendy Obag! The steel samurai is dragging his leg in the picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's jury. Woo! I didn't even realize that! And the assistant girl didn't know about it. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person, other than Powers and Hammer, who knew about that injury. The security lady! That old oak tree looking fuck! Right, right. Whippersnapper! Shut your ass up! Right. You're not Mrs. Crocker, stop that shit, my nigga. Order, order! Right. Is this true, old bag? Old bag, that's Mrs. Old Bag to you! Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she was no alibi. She could have easily briefly left her post to steal the samurai costume. It slipped in the studio one, the scene of the murder! Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, your honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in the costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see! Uh, excellent detective reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes number two, baby! Oh shit! Sherlock Homeboy, my nigga! Let's go! This nigga feed is crazy with it! Huh? That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection to some kind of new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth? Does the prosecution have an opinion to this matter? Take that old bitch to jail, dog. I don't give a fuck. The prosecution has no meaningful objections this time. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so all you think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, please don't just sit there and do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way. Press further. Don't give that fucking bitch a break. Don't give her a break. The very same reason that print makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? No way out of this one. You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive too. Woo! Indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings. I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy. The one who's a photo I arranged. Uh, he's only a grade schooler though, as you said. Second or third grade was it, nigga? It don't matter if he's a kid or not, bro. You know how many kids these days kill niggas? <laughs> That's all the fucking fuss right now, my nigga. They kill niggas. They don't give a fuck, bro. That doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in 10 seconds top. Nigga, how? Huh? Your thoughts, Mr. Wright. That boy is not the killer. Right? How can you be so sure? Oh, is it because the nice kids mean your elders one day, whippersnapper? I have proof. Prove! Indeed. Let's see the proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder. He didn't have a key card. He didn't have a key card. The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a car key to access the studios! How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a car key? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> What the fuck is happening to her? The windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. That means Phoenix getting way better at this shit. Phoenix getting way better at this shit. Order. 
This court will suspend the proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Wendy. What was her name? <laughs> uh, something old bag, sir. <laughs> you don't even know the fucking first name. <laughs> what? <laughs> they don't even know her name. I don't either, bro. She said that shit, but I forgot that shit immediately. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. God damn! Woo! What? I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong fucking tree! Me! I'm talking here! What? They would have shown my face like this. No, they wouldn't have. No, they wouldn't have. They would not put that camera on me. Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Uh, Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you admitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth? Who told him not to talk? Well, uh, testify. What is about to happen? My lips were sealed? Which lips? Which lips? The labia or the Majora? Global Studios wanted me to keep... Global Studios? There were some other people at the studio that day on the murder. They said they had nothing to do with this. See? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studio that day. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. I thought it was scotch-free. Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. You submissive? Man, bend over and take this black dick right now. Bitch, take this black dick. Take this black dick. Oh, I would go crazy on her. What? No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, uh, your cross-examination. Holy shit, bro. I don't know, my nigga. My lips were sealed, bro. Open them up. Let me let me penetrate. Let me penetrate that shit. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. Hold it! So you were told not to talk. That's right. By the studio and the TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Edgeworth mad <laughs> Edgeworth might retire after this fucking game, my nigga. Hell nah. Don't be too hard on yourself, sonny. We were all in on it. What? There were some other people at the studios that day of the murder. Hold it! Who are these other people? Woo! I'm in the mind of a lawyer right now, my nigga. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Hell yes. Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. And it wasn't Old Bag's box. It wasn't Old Bag's box. How could they have done a run through of their action scene without a director? Of course. God damn! Yes, well, I'm surprised no one asked about it. So, were these people... Where were they at? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you guys look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate all the way to the left. And that's Studio 2. We never went that way. The power of the monkey's head was falling over. Holy shit. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Continue cross-exam. Continue cross-exam. They said they had nothing to do with that, Shay. Hold it! Miss Oldbag, this is a trial for murder. I know that, Shelley. Still, they're pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. What the fuck did they give you? Some dick? Some dick? So you got your bonus and you still talk? <laughs> she a G. She a real nigga. All G's move in silence like lasagna. Continue cross-exam. Fuck that shit. I guess there's no harm in getting as much info as I can. Hell yes. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. Hold it! About what? So you were told not to talk. That's right. By the studio and the TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Alright, it's all the same shit. Say less, say less. Other people in the murder, they said they see nothing to see with it. Alright, they told me they pretend that I didn't be in that day in the studio. Damn! So they were actually in the studio? 
Yes, the whole day when they heard about the murder, they beat it to the cops before I came. I'll kill this woman, I swear it! I feel so sorry for Edgeworth, almost. She really left him hanging on this one. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot free. Hold it! Them? Is more than one nigga? More than one nigglet? Whoever these people were. Well, the director and the producer, for starters. Alright, say less, say less. Now we already got the information we needed, my nigga. That's fucking insane. That's fucking insane. We should be good, though. Studio 2? Alright. We need information we need, my nigga. I think I've already asked all my questions. Now we take a break. Your Honor, we have learned there were others at Global Studios in the day in question. The director and the producer and, uh, some big wigs were all present. Yet we stand here. They have not been questioned. I hold it as impossible to clear a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about the other people we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. The court is adjourned. Where the fuck did my hammer go? <laughs> Nigga, did it, did it just disappear? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, hell no. That shit is gone, gone. That shit is gone, gone. No way. Did y'all niggas take that shit from me? Oh, what the fuck? It's out of here. One oh four p.m. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. Now suck my dick. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really? It's nothing. Oh, should I say? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? We'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up this next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross examination. So, nigga. Have we figured out just what it is the Seal Samurai costume? Could it really have been the old windbag? What did you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. I don't think it was her either, my nigga. We needed more people on the fucking set. We needed that shit. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying some time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Wind. Woo! Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there with it without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right, we'll be back to visit you any soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Uh, <laughs> nigga, shut your ass up. Damn. To be continued. Woo! My niggas. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. This fucking game is five year on some real shit, bro. I don't know how the other two games in the series will hold up, but Ace Attorney Phoenix, right? Fucking fire. Fucking fire. I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Check on your strong friends. Pray for your enemies. If you're not religious, at least wish them well. And I'll see y'all niggas next video. Peace.